Hey bro, thanks for coming out, checking out this great opportunity, okay? Your friend obviously brought you here for a reason, so, you know, I'm gonna kinda go over, you know, why you're here. Kind of, why you decided, you know, you know, what, basically, why are you here, okay? A little bit about me, my name's Freddie Dodge, okay? I go to Grand Valley, I'm 19 years old, okay, I take 15 credits, I'm trying out for the golf team, in the spring, it's coming up soon. Okay, I'm excited. I'm just an uh, you know, I'm just an average kid like you. You know, socialize, study during the week, weekends come, party, you know. So, you know, a little bit about why I did this. You know, I heard about this back in uh 2013, you know, right as high school was getting out, okay? I was sick of my minimum wage job. I worked at Kroger. All right, it was a pain in the ass being a stock boy. And, you know, literally stocking fruit all day with my friend, you know, Daniel Cuffey. And, like, I just needed a change. Like, that, I literally needed a change. That's literally all I needed. And, you know, I drank coffee, I drank Gatorade, I drank pop every day to keep me awake. So when I was presented this opportunity in my friend's basement, there was no way I couldn't check this out. It was like a healthy energy drink. Are you nuts? There's no such thing. And I was wrong. There is a healthy energy drink. And you know what? It's the best healthy energy drink ever. In fact, it is the best product on the market, okay? The whole company started in 2004, Scottsdale, Arizona. They originally had a Vima juice. You know, Vima spelled V-E-M-M-A. Stands for vitamins, essential minerals, mangosteen, and aloe, Okay. And it was targeted more towards our parents. But 2008, you know, the CEO, you know, it, he moved towards a newer demographic, the younger generation. And that's where Verve came in. He looked at what college kids needed. He looked at what they did. He knew they partied. He knew they drank energy drinks in the morning. That he knew that he, he used them for chasers. And he figured, you know, if I came up with this healthy energy drink and I let, you know, their, their friends tell about it through word of mouth advertising, this could really work. And you know what? He's right. You know, we use word of mouth advertising compared to commercial advertising, okay? Red Bull, last year, $900 million, okay? Of, for a freaking guy who jumped out of space. That was the most boring commercial I've ever seen. In fact, I changed it halfway through, all right? Our, de our generation, you know, we don't use, we don't watch commercials. You know, YouTube, the 54321, we skip it 99.9% .9 of the time. Okay, the only commercials I ever watch are the Super Bowl, okay? So, that's what he kind of did. He used word of mouth advertising to help, you know, make this product, you know, stand out in the young demographic. And it worked. Because literally, last year, we reached $221 million in sales, 89% increase from 2012, where we only had $117 million in sales. So, you might be asking, why, Vima? Why might this work for you? Okay? I don't know about you. Like I said before, I'm a college student. Okay? I go to, you know, like I said, Grand Valley. Alright, student loan debts, $1.3 trillion. I had to take out student loans this year. Okay, I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever. The average kid, when he finishes four years, pays like $30,000 in student loan debt. And the worst part of all is, it's like, we're not guaranteed a job, bro. 53.6% of kids are either underemployed or unemployed their first year. Okay. It's literally a flip a coin chance. It's either me or you for a job. I hate those odds. Those odds are BS. I'm not for it whatsoever. You know? And kids look at that and they're more, you know, they wake up. They realize we have a product that is working. It's very healthy. You know, people are health conscious. Okay? McDonald's went backwards in sales this year. Okay? Subway went up. The economy is waking up. Michigan, from 2012, went from 38th 
unhealthiest country, unhealthiest state, to the 26th healthiest state in the United States. All right? It had to do with Subway, and it had to do with Verve. That's why. So people are waking up, and they want to be healthy. They want to make money, okay? And it is working for kids everywhere. There are 35 kids making six figures or less in this company. There are 16 paid-for company cars on Michigan State's campus, okay? 16. You know, in three years, there will be a six-figure incomer. I guarantee you, across every college campus because of how this is growing, okay? 2014, we're predicted 450 million freaking dollars. That is twice than we would do that we did last year, okay? And for every dollar that Vima makes, they pay 50 cents back to us, bro. 50 cents, all right? That's 225 million dollars. Okay, I don't want a slice of that pie. I don't know about you, but I do. Okay, you know, the numbers show it. We have tools. The Vima workbook, literally the best invention through all of Vima. Okay, it helps you with everything. You know why? Because we are learning from the best leaders. Okay, my, you know, my friend, Luke Hessler, he started in Michigan. Okay, he's gone through it all. Okay. He hit, he's an ambassador. He makes $250,000 minimum a year. Last year, last month, he had $32,000, okay? He basically made more than my stepdad in an entire year, okay? And it's like, you know, if you want to make money, you follow someone who's making a lot of money at a young age. So I want to, if I want to make a six-figure income, I'm going to follow people like Luke Hessler, who know how to do it, and they can teach me it faster, okay? So yeah, you know, just to kind of close it off, you know, your friend brought you here for a reason. This is happening. We're predicted to be a billion dollar company within the next two to three years, okay? And, you know, whether you see it now or you see it down the road, just keep in mind that, like, if you don't tell your friends now about it, we will. And, you know, don't be that kid that looks back five years from now and says, what if I did Vima? What if I joined my friend and I actually listened to him? Just don't, just don't be that kid. And, you know, man, you know, your why is what really counts, okay? Why you want to do this, why you want the change. All right, man, take care.